Hey, this is hopefully going to be a quick video on the uh, OBS NDI bug 875 NDI stream desyncing and stuttering, where I had a user of OBS NDI emailed me directly and said that they were experiencing the same issue and discovered that it seems to go away when they set the affinity of OBS to four threads. Affinity is processor based, not thread based, so I'm reinterpreting their statement to mean OBS to four processors. And they give me a little details of their hardware. Um, and I'm like, whoa, I mean, this is could seem promising. I'll do anything at this point to try to solve this weird issue. So let me repro the issue before I show you that this workaround does indeed work. So minimizing that. What's happening now is OBS is in the foreground. I'm actively recording with OBS. Small disclosure, I'm cheating on this recording right now. I'm actually putting the NDI video over top of the desktop. You don't really need to concern yourself with that right now. But the point is that I have an NDI stream coming in. And whenever OBS is in the foreground, which you're going to see some weird effect there, it's in. I can move OBS. OBS is in the foreground. It's in focus, actually. It's stuttering, and there's no audio. If I bring any other app to focus in the foreground, it'll cause OBS to not be in focus. And so OBS runs just fine, and you can hear the audio coming in over the NDI stream. The past workaround that I noticed a week or so ago was if I come over to my network card and I take it out of 2.5, this is my network card, it's a 2.5 gig USB Ethernet adapter. I know they're problematic, but, you know, they kind of shouldn't be. And whatever, I, I, I have a workaround where I can drop this to 1 gigabit, Yes, that defeats the purpose of having a two gigabit. So I'm not happy with the workaround and I'm looking for other solutions. If I hit apply here, it's gonna reboot the NIC basically as it applies the changes. There's my network got disconnected and then the stream should reestablish. Yep, the fish is moving around. And so that's how I've worked around this in the past. If I now foreground uh, OBS, the, the video is not stuttering. Uh, oh, it kind of is. Interesting. Huh. Okay, make a liar out of me. Even the one gigabit, for some reason, isn't working. Now let me show you what Roletia, what they showed. So to more guarantee the reproduction, I'm going to go back to 2.5. And when I foreground OBS, we'll definitely stutter and we'll definitely lose audio. So. Here's where things get a little weird. Here's my task manager. OBS is now not in focus, so it is smooth. So again, the problem only reproduces when OBS becomes the focus foreground application. So I'm gonna come over here to Affinity. And now I will turn off all the processor Affinity. I haven't hit Apply. You can't, you can't hit Apply at the moment. And now I'm gonna bind it to Rotia's suggestion of four CPUs. I don't know if it can be more than four yet, but just I'm just now experimenting with this the first time. You're seeing this pretty much live or on my second attempt at this ever. So I can play with uh, uh, affinity of how many I can get to, if it makes any difference. And if it can be any four or just the first four. I still haven't applied this yet. It's still stuttering. Now I'm going to apply this in three, two, one, bam. And look at that. Video is smooth. Audio is smooth. I think the song just ended. It's going to repeat. There's some. Okay, so video is smooth. Audio is coming inbound. The affinity has been bound to four, the first four processors. Now is where things get a little weirder, even more weird. Um, if I switch it back to all processors and apply, do you want to bet if NDI will start to stutter again or not? So three, two, one, apply, and foregrounding OBS in three, two, one. I am now foregrounding OBS, and it is smooth, and not stuttering, and the audio is coming out. Um, can I reproduce it by dropping the gigabit back and trying again? It will lose the network, which is fine. We'll reestablish. It's reestablished. I'm gonna. We're at one gigabit. I'm gonna change it back to uh, 
two point auto negotiate two point five. I'm gonna apply. It'll re-establish and reconnect. Video comes in. Right now, device manager is in the foreground. Okay, we're re-established. If I come OBS foreground in three, two, one, bam, video is still fine. If I close OBS and relaunch OBS, it will start to stutter again. So I'm going to look into the OBS code and see if there's anything they do on Windows when the OBS library gets into the foreground. If, it, if there's any code that detects that it has captured foreground or focus, and if they do any fancy fiddling of the affinity, we're not in their code. And possibly compile a version that opts out of doing any affinity fiddling in OBS. So first of all, I have to kind of figure out if that happens. And then second of all, if it does or doesn't do that, that would indicate you know, whether there is or isn't a problem in existing code. If I find that there is no existing code that toys with the affinity, then there's obviously still some sort of problem that maybe code then does need to be added to possibly consider when OBS launches, if it can tickle its affinity a little bit, and maybe it would be an option or an advanced option to turn off affinity, unbind from all processors, and then let that apply, and then do some reasonable 100, 500 milliseconds sleep, whatever is determined reasonable or effective, and then rebind affinity back to all processors again. And if there's some way to confirm through some process monitor, but I'm pretty sure you can write your code to self affinitize your process. So that's what I'm going to look into and see if I can find a programmatic solution as this exploration goes a little deeper down that rabbit hole of trying to figure out why OBS NDI stutters based on this bug that's being reported by other users. Someone else has reported this and then this was just Relatina. Relatia, uh, Relatia, sorry if I'm butchering your name. Uh, thank you for the email and we'll see if we can get this better fixed. All right, thanks for watching. This channel is mostly me exploring with uh, trying to get a multi-box picture-in-picture game streaming setup up and running. I'm not here to capture millions of users, but if there is interest in this, appreciate a subscribe. I don't do, I, I do more technical videos and exploration than I actually do in-game Star Citizen exploration and fun stuff. I would like to pivot one day to doing that, and I've actually had the thought recently of splitting this already tiny channel into two channels, one being a technical behind-the-scenes type of channel where you get more of this kind of detail about how this works and all of the dirty, uh, the how the sausage is made in the factory versus the perhaps just gaming stuff or Maybe one day if I ever have interesting... The, the channel will be a lot cleaner if I have only game stuff in one channel and on, and then the stuff behind the scenes in another channel. So I may pivot on doing that you know, in the next month, like upcoming New Year in 2024. So uh, for now, if you find this interesting about multiboxing and the, the dirty reality, technical reality of getting this stuff working, through NDI, multiboxing... And in general, I apply this only really to the Star Citizen world. Um, yeah, I appreciate the subscribe. It just helps me to know that there are some people out there that find this interesting. All right, thanks for watching, and catch you later. Thank mm -hmm. you.